Hey, what up, gang? Matt here with your Wednesday Word. Hope you're doing well. I want this to be an, um, an energetic, a revitalizing, a fresh start for you after you watch this video. And you, first of all, you say, well, why are you doing Wednesday Word on a Thursday? And I say, when you have two in diapers, there is no such thing as one of these. You have no watch. You have no time. You just try to wake up and make it through the day, right? Uh, I'm still, I told my wife the other day, I'm still trying to adjust to this two and diapers thing. I feel like I have no balance and all that, but that's beside the point. Let's talk about the, the important stuff and God's word here. A lot of times at nighttime before bed, I will get my Bible and just start scanning through some verses, some scripture, mostly New Testament, Paul's writings. And I'll just kind of start going scripture by scripture until I find something that really clicks with me and makes me really think that I can ponder on as I lay down to sleep. And last night there, I was in uh, Corinthians, um, I think it's 1 Corinthians uh, 5, 17, talking about in Christ, we are a new creation. And, and there's something about, we all appreciate something new, something, a fresh start, something new, whether it's a house, a relationship, a job, um, some new hobby, a toy, whatever it is that, that when you have something new, there's just this, it's a good feeling. It's emotional, good feeling. And some of us, we go throughout each day and our days run together and you never stop and really let yourself think deep to get a new feeling because every, I think one of Satan's greatest tools, he keeps us on the very surface level of life on everything. Because of social media, because of TV, because of everything quick fix. All of us have the same knowledge. We have Google on our phones. If you want to know how many, how much, where at, how come, when did, who did, you just type it in, bam, you got an answer. So everything is so instant that we never stop and slow down and really think on a deep level. But this is one of those scriptures, when you really think about it, in Christ, we are a new creation. Let that sink in. So... You don't have to deal with things like the world deals with it. You don't have to uh, suffer like the world suffers. You don't have a simple a sense of hopelessness like the world has. Because through Christ, through the price he paid for us on the cross, we are a new creation. And a thousand times greater than any kind of new car, new house, new toy, new hobby, new job, new relationship. Is that hope and that spirit that lives within us in Christ because of the price he paid for us. And we need to stop and quit letting Satan get us so distracted and so caught up in the little mundane, little annoying things in life and say, I am a new creation in Christ. One of the verses I quote often is Romans 12. It says, be not conformed to this world, but rather be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this is what's so exciting about the Christian walk. I love this. I talk about it often. Is Nothing can really change external in your life. When I say nothing changes, I mean you don't acquire enough, something, you don't start a new relationship, you don't uh, get more money in your bank account, whatever. But mentally, you can you can stop and think deep, get in God's Word and prayer and the Bible and in, 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 um, ministry, talking to others, this kind of thing, and start thinking deeper about the price and what God has truly done for you in His gift through Jesus Christ and instantly be all things new and transformed. There's nothing else like that. That's what I love about Christianity is I can be transformed instantly. I can be in this car headed back to work and things be going wrong and I can stop and say, you know what? Things are going wrong right now, but man, God loves me. He, he told me he loves me so much he gave his son on a cross for me. He said he wants to give me the abundant life. He said there's a hope and a future and a heaven prepared for me. He said no eyes seen and no ears heard. You can't even think about the things God has prepared for, prepared for me. And I can start thinking about that and ponder and get some worship music going and think about that. And bam, my life is new. There's a fresh start. So externally, nothing's changed. But internally, I am transformed by the renewing your mind. Christians, let me urge you, after you have accepted Christ as your Savior and you begin to put your hope and trust in Him and Him alone, we have to make ourselves conscious to stop and think deep and realize we are a new creation. We shouldn't see things the way the world does. 
It's what's so exciting about the Christian. You know, I have days, that I, and I quote often, the righteous fall seven times, but they get back up. Seven's the number in the Bible for infinity. So we fall, and we fall, and we fall. And we, but the difference is we get up, we get up, we get up, we get up. And I've learned my own life. Now, even when Satan has me down, I say, Satan, good luck, brother. I'm a child of the king, and I've got Jesus Christ living inside because I'm getting back up. I'm getting back up. I'm getting back up. And I'll literally put a smile on my face, start humming, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. But now I see. And I say, you're not keeping this old boy down because in Christ we are a new creation. Let me challenge you today. Think deeper and realize because of Christ you are a new creation. And go out today and be transformed by that very renewing of your mind. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for all the kind words and encouragement. Check out AcousticSelection.com and subscribe if you haven't. I love you. But more important than that, God loves you. God bless you.